Yeah. Uh, this goes out to the makers, the dreamers. Dave and Terry in the game like schemers. 3D and T printing. Let's go. Oh. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Uh, we're not doing anything. Not doing anything at all. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Dave with 3DNT. We got Stormy up here taking her little nap, but that's not going to stop us from going ahead and do a filament review from a company that reached out to us and asked us if we were interested in trying out one of their budget filaments called Deeply. Now, they are distributed by the same manufacturers that make the Elegoo filaments, so I have high hopes, but we're going to be honest, fair, and upfront with this. As with all of our reviews, we only accept the ability to test and review things only if we have full autonomy to say what we want, how we feel about the filament, without being regulated by the company. This company has allowed us to do that, so everything expressed in this video are going to be my opinions of my own. There are no outside company influences. Yes, they did supply the filament, but is it worth it? Do you want to spend your money on this? Let's take a look and see if it's worth your and my time. Hey everyone, this is Terry. We found this matte PLA purple off of Amazon. It's from Deeply. Oddly, Deeply reached out to us. Send us some rapid PLA plus. Purple spool was a little damaged, but the silver spool was fine. We have this pretty PLA plus pink. I really like this color. I think it's a very vibrant pink. We also have this purple filament, which is our favorite color. I have some plans for this one. Now let's talk about the standard PLA marble. It has little speckles in it. No hardened steel nozzle is needed. I have some plans for this one as well. Now the wood filament gave us a little bit of issues, but we'll discuss that later. Still a good print though. Let's try this Rapid PLA Plus on the Rapid printer, the FL Sun T1 Pro. PLA Silver and PLA White. Dave, what are your thoughts? Well, to be honest with you, I think it printed really well out of the box. Could have done with a little bit of drying to alleviate some of the stringing, but the white went down well, the silver went down well. It's a high-speed filament for a high-speed printer. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. So let's give matte filament a try on the P1S. See how that turns out. And while we're at it, we might as well do the K1 with the high-speed filament and see how well that did. Again, still getting a little bit of that stringing. It does work in the AMS with the cardboard spools. As you see, we were able to get the high speed filament to print just fine. No tangles, no issues. Again, still very, very, very slight wisps of strings of hair there. And that appeared on almost all of the prints that we had. Slight stringing, these overhang tests. We're not even going to pay attention to them because each printer, some did it, some didn't. But overall, it printed well for the matte filament on both those two printers. So we decided to go ahead and run some wood filament. The smell smells like cut wood, but had issues. Nothing like the marble. Marble printed wonderfully smooth out of the K1. The finish quality was great. Love the speckled marbling throughout the entire filament as it printed. Again, highly recommend it. Okay, the reason why I'm doing it on all these different printers is so that maybe you may not have a Bamboo, maybe you don't have a Creality, maybe you don't have an FL Sun, but we're doing a Delta, a Bed Slinger, and a Core XY. That way you can see the full potential of this filament. Uh, again, completely unbiased, and let's get back to print like we mean it. All right, all right, all right. Enough with that calibration mode, Prince. How about we try something new? Face mode, let's go. Data streams, matrix forming hands, prototype. 
like spin, the future's on demand. Calibration tight, no room to expand. Time for some skulls. Everybody likes some skulls with some supports. How well do the supports hold up on the skulls? That's what we were testing out. Are the contours where they need to be? That's what we're going to see right now. in my chat like you need it. They came out with absolutely no issues. So we're gonna go ahead and step it up to something that you really wanna see, a big print. The silver high speed came out just fine, so let's do the base in marble. And there she is, the Wexter model, available now on printables of the YNW Spider-Man. So we decided to go ahead and step it up we're gonna go ahead and throw these cardboard spools in the AMS, see how well they roll with a multicolor print. So let's clickety clack them teeth together. Not everything was sunshine and roses with this filament. When we ran the wood filament, as you see, was quite a bit wet. The A1 Mini struggled to print with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle, so we had to upgrade to the 0.6 to be able to print the test models. But overall, when we put it on the P1S with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle at a 0.4 millimeter layer height, printed well. As you can see, this is the bust here from Photos Mints. Obviously the layer lines are quite thick, but overall it did print after drying. With the last little bit of filament, we went ahead and did the silver and white as a bracelet. And here's everything that survived. People showing up, taking a few items, but as you can see, everything came out very well. We had no real issues with this other than the wood filament, but here's my final thoughts. Oh, that was a lot of test models for no reason. We should have just done the regular prints in the first place instead of all the test models, but we had to do it. We had to print every aspect of what people are printing out there on the market today. So, Core XY, Delta, Bedslinger, whatever it is, Deeply's got you covered. So pick up a roll today of Deeply Filament, available now on Amazon. Link in the description below on how you can get your hands on some. So get out there and don't forget, print like you mean it.